some shit going on. I'm not about to be like, oh, if he got this going on, what can I do? Like, no, fuck you. I got my shit going on. I don't need that. Where is your competitive spirit at? Competitive? Yes. My whole thing for me the fuck was... you don't want to be the winner? This is, this is genuine. We, we got, got the real kids. Talk. We don't have to compete with shit. <laughs> It's your boy, North End Wayne. And Sam Mile G. What? You're now checking into the Checking and Respected podcast, and we got some very special here guests here with us. Okay, it's your girl, Terry B. And it's your girl, Sister Diddy. And we're from Tease After Dark. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. They Fuck just did that the first up. time we were just on Nation. I'm like, we gotta step it up on our motherfucking intro, way. We got some bullshit. <laughs> they <laughs> all in sync and shit. We got right, right. We gotta, gotta say some shit together type shit. I like that, though. Right, like, like how your expectations the next time I see you guys. Definitely. We gotta go to the drum board quick as hell. <laughs> Definitely. Get, Get us a routine board. going. <laughs> I feel like we was jump roping. They over here double dutching and shit. Facts. What'd I say? You know, shout out to our producer. Shout out to Rick. Shout out to Matt. Yeah, shout, shout out to, to the them boys. boys. They level. giving us what we need to, from episode one to episode three. Totally different vibes. Yeah. Definitely way better production. Upscale. I ain't got so yeah, we got a few questions for y'all. So, do you feel like how do dudes take your perception off Instagram? Like, with you selling sex toys, do niggas be expecting a freaky ass chick out of you type shit? I think so. I don't really think so. Cause I told y'all like you know on our episode like people are just like up uh, dick. I feel like up and dick is just, like, crazy to me. Like, I feel like um, they think, like, because maybe I'm, like, more sexual, but yeah. I'm also funny, too. So, like, I don't understand how they maybe think, like, I'm, like, super sexual, but I'm funny. But I feel like, um, But yeah. the funny girls be freaky sometimes. Yeah, I'm funny and I'm freaky, but don't just up dick on me. Yeah, I feel that. But I actually, I told y'all I was trying to, like, date a little bit differently than I had been dating. So I actually, like, hid a lot of stuff off my page. Like, I used to do a lot of, like, lingerie photo shoots and stuff like that. I actually hid most of that from my page. Why? Because I wanted when to be taken serious. You want to sell more classy look to yourself? It's not that. I just, it's certain, like, horny energy that just come off rip with that. I didn't. I just didn't want it no more. Hold on, you said it's horny energy. They come up with who? With like say like DM going crazy. Yeah, well, it's not your DMs going crazy. Well, DMs do be going crazy when you drop pictures like that. But like, I don't know. Niggas just be too horny. Like, would y'all date an OnlyFans girl? I know the show, show, but I just had to ask that. Yep. Yeah, would. You would. Like, only fans. that could be your bitch. No, no. But you can. I'm date really one. not in a bitch space right now. Okay. I could date you. We can have fun. I don't mind being. Out but of nothing trouble. serious. Yeah, I'm not gonna be like that's it my girlfriend. It can be girlfriend. serious, but you're not my girlfriend. Okay, but you're not what, my why girlfriend. Why is it serious? It's general? not your girlfriend. Hmm. He's not looking for a girlfriend <laughs> at all. Anyway, like either way it go, he's not looking for no girlfriend. Like, he's not looking for I no always, girlfriend. My new thing to say is, is it a shame for one to do boyfriend shit and not be your boyfriend? Yes. Why? Because you're not being 100. Like, as long as you're being 100, like, I want to be just a nigga that fuck off on you or trick off on you, that's fine. But if you coming in, like, being a boyfriend vibe and not even making me a girlfriend, you're being misleading. But what if I'm telling you I don't want to be your boyfriend, but I still give you boyfriend vibes? I can fuck with that because yeah, you're not being misleading. Trans- that means your ex is not matching your words, though, right? No, that's being no, transparent. If you say that, that's transparency. We just want somebody who's going to be real. Like, if you're not trying to be my boyfriend, let me know. But don't act like you're my boyfriend. And you can't get mad when you find out about things that somebody who's not your boyfriend or your girlfriend, you would be mad about. That's like low vibrational dude type of shit. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it's a low vibrational dude trying to be my boyfriend or trying not to be my boyfriend. Tender and low vibrations. And doing boyfriend stuff. Facts. Yeah. And, no. and it's misleading. And it's misleading. I yeah. agree. So what if a dude don't really? Is is it a turn off? I'm not misleading you if I'm telling you I don't want to be your boyfriend, but I'm gonna give you these type of vibes. We gonna go on flowers. I'm gonna take you on dates. That's just telling a girl how you treat women. But what was it you were saying? So if a nigga buying you flowers, going on dates and shit like that. That's misleading. A bad thing. No, it's I being misleading like, if you how? not. If you're, if you're not, not transparent, front, like, I'm not trying to be with you, but I'm gonna just be but like But these are the this. type of things I do for women that I date. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that's this dating. Is, I feel the same. 
same. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just this I'm type, type of person. Dating. I'm a nice guy. Check your email. We're dating. Check your email. Numbers. All the confirmation <laughs> numbers are there. For Spirit mm. Flight 224. For Spirit Flight 224. Don't get too bossy. Don't act like you can't get on one too. To Cancun, period. To Cancun. And that's the first place you go when you ain't got no... Um, we just got the first passport. Snap. It's the first step type of trip. It no, is. Mine's no, my was Brazil. Step. Mine's was Brazil. Mine's was Brazil. Mine's too. You got your teeth done there? Yours is no, Cancun, okay. My teeth period. Not done. Okay, period. Yeah, just, they let's teeth look good. Like, oh, anytime shit. somebody tell me that... <laughs> I just feel like anytime somebody tell me they went to Colombia or Brazil, I assume that they got their teeth done. Right. Or the Dominican Republic. Uh, wow, your teeth do look nice. Colombia yeah, I had braces before. Colombia okay, teeth braces to, to knock yeah. off, though. That bitch like 650 A trip? Flight and hotels, like 700 to uh, so Colombia. What's your favorite oh, place to date somebody? Like your first date, ideal first date for both of y'all. What's your ideal first date so y'all can get bitches in that zone? No, what's your idea? This is our show. What's your ideal first date? For me... Because like, what I want to know about that long list. This how you list. give me a fuck. If you want me to fuck on the first night, take me out, out of town. I'm going to fuck you off. Damn near off rip. We going out of town. For sure. If you take me out of town on the first trip, I'm I, I'm damn near almost fucking already. Because I'm like, ooh. Okay. But then, hold, on, hold on. Go. Go, go. Because I got a question. Are, I got to go. Almost, I got a question. though. Not for real, though. Go but ahead. Almost. You give your idea. Then I want to respond to yours. Because... Sometimes you definitely you find out the real person. Some everybody's not fun out of town. I feel like very first day I do want to get to know you in the city that we yeah in. we got just vibe. because I need to make sure that the vibes is gonna even. Give. You hear I want to get pussy. You hear me? So, but you could get a, you could get that off a of FaceTime call. No, no. I say no. Oh God, no. I in the town, but I do need to know like I'm if gonna, I can spend I'm multiple nights with you day. before I go out of town with you. So wait, you like you, I want to spend the night before I go out of town with you because I need to know that it ain't gonna get no, like. No, you ain't gotta be to spend the night with me, but you we at least do gotta hang once or twice because you first day. I want to spend the night. I went on a first day out of town, town with you, and that was like the longest situation of shit I ever had. Like with that guy, like we we went out of town on a first day, and it was good vibes, and we talked for about. Two years. Longer than any relationship I ever been in. So I'm a good now, I met a nigga on the flight. I so question. We linked while we was out of when a nigga fly right. you out, you fucking. No. That don't mean that. No. It don't okay. have to. It don't have to mean that. It's, but why are you even going then? Fact. So let me tell you. I had, I've been flewed out plenty of times. But it was this How one guy. How many occasions did you not fuck? Mo- mm. <laughs> Good question. Good, good <laughs> that was you stumped me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was a time though that I went out of town and the dude, the vibe just wasn't there. And I'm like, I, it, it just wasn't given like I want to fuck you vibes. Why so I didn't though? fuck With, him. LDE, why? little dick energy. He gave me mm. head and everything, but the vibe just wasn't. He given, fucked like, it up after the head. Shit, the head was like subpar. Oh, he uh. fucked it up. <laughs> he blew fire. it. He blew it. Now he took the hat off. He's about some. <laughs> if you bite the pussy, you post the whip. That post. Even that was supposed to be the leeway into the pussy. Yeah, like sometimes if a chick don't want to fuck you, if you eat that I pussy right, I ate food you. I ate your coochie, and you still didn't give I'm me like, pussy. Ooh, this is yeah, right so I want to ask you go to sleep. You was a, you suck, my boy. Not you suck. So. Next question. Do you feel like it's a difference in being freaky and nasty? Two-part question. Is the difference between being freaky and nasty and do you have limitations to your sex life? I do have limitations. There are certain things. Now, I feel like once I find my ultimate man, we can explore those limitations more. But until he's my ultimate nigga, like, I feel like it's only going to be one nigga in life to say I ate his ass if I did decide to do that. I agree. Yeah. So give me the one thing less off limits to you at least get possibly married or a nigga who you truly like. Eat Good question. Ass. Eating ass. Yeah. Eating ass too and like if you want me to finger you. I'm not fingering you. Oh, pegging? Like that type of shit? Yeah. Because yeah. I, I was like, I like to smell my finger so I was like, I might want to keep smelling it. And like... <laughs> <laughs> so, so hold on, hold on, hold on. So now, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, if you want me to put my finger in your boot, like, I'm going to just be like, every couple minutes, I'm going to just keep smelling me. Nigga, what you mean for lunch? Are you continuously dating him after that? Say a nigga got you open, he doing everything you want. And this is one of his freaky niches. He finally want to tell you, like, okay, look, we've been uh, six months in. This is my little secret. Boom, wrap it out the hat. What you doing? If I fuck with him, I'm gonna do it. But I'm, if I fuck with him, I'm gonna do it. However, 
I kind of got like one of those things where like I'm gonna have to. Soon as he make her mad, she like putting this. that shit on the flow. I'm not gonna lie, if it's not. No, you are not. I'm putting that shit on the flow. Definitely smelling that hand. Oh, you like you like fingers in your butt, nigga. You for sure telling on him. Soon as you make for sure. You telling. The, ni- the first time you try to act like a bitch, you you got mad bitch behaviors because you want your fingers fingers in your ass. Like, you're a bitch. <laughs> on the net, though. I'm not being like no, that. No, not on the net. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't expose people because I don't want to ever, like, sex shame somebody. Hold yeah. on. Be- hold on, hold on. How y'all feel about motherfuckers? But I feel like that's part of the reason a lot of people cheat, for real, because they don't want to be fully honest with, with who they is. Who with they mate type like shit. Dwight like, Howard. You, if you got a nigga you like... Hello? You <laughs> She didn't name drop. The white yeah, hopper. Yeah, if you got a nigga you like, you can't go tell your boyfriend, hey, I want a train ran on me. Why? It's bitches that enjoy that? Yes, it's chicks. I know. That they said that's their fantasy, I though. I know had chicks tell me that was their fantasy. A lot of girls. I know a lot of girls who said it's their fantasy. Not yeah. me, though. I don't like DP. Don't DP me. DP <laughs> or two dicks. You know she watching that's porn her talk thing. about some DP. <laughs> DP and two dicks is <laughs> equally the sex same Devil thing. Penetration. So you don't want y'all like, that don't watch porn that much to be like taken to it once. I won't DP. I won't DP as in double pussy. <laughs> I love that now. <laughs> so y'all willing to eat some pussy? We both yeah. eat pussy. I like, me personally, I I feel like I eat pussy better than I suck dick, and I, I would rather that. eat pussy than suck, suck dick. dick. Okay. Now I can't agree to that. I can't agree to that. Okay, quick question. You ain't had no real big dick before. I have, but I didn't mean I was just sucking his dick. Sucking, like sucking a big dick regularly is so different. Okay, quick question, because I'm a nigga who like to eat pussy and enjoy eating pussy. That's a fetish, by the way. (laughs) Might be. Why ain't never ate my pussy either, though? So, I haven't? No, I haven't. Hold on, wait, what did he say? What did he say? My question leading into it was how because I feel like eating pussy comes easy to me. Like to me, it's not a hard task <laughs> to eat some pussy. So what is bad hair? Like how do a nigga get your? You bad know what the fuck bad hair is? I feel is. like niggas don't be knowing where to put their tongue that can give you bad. It's head. only this big. No, no, I gotta talk. Let be me see. Some niggas don't know what they're doing. Like they no nigga has even told them to focus on certain parts of the vagina. So they think that you're supposed to go to the hole. And that ain't what you should be focusing on. They hey, like niggas, if you listening, the hood, write that thing that's right up under that hood. That's what you focus on. Yeah, the just click. get the click. Just yeah. get the click. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's easier, easier, it is easier to eat coochie dough than suck dick for real. Yeah, all you gotta do is look on the click. Like, if you, and that's bad head. Bad head equals you're sucking on a on a otter arm. Too you're hard. Sucking on a, so, you're trying to put your tongue in a hole. Like, get the fuck so out of here. So do a lot of niggas know what they're doing or not? Crazy, no. You know? uh, I feel fucking. like I can read <laughs> niggas who like. Here. <laughs> so do majority of niggas know what they're doing or not eating pussy? I would say majority don't. I have, like, out of all the dudes that I've ever came across sexually, maybe, th- not even maybe, three or four have made me orgasm from clitoris. So you done had more bad Zero dick? Zero has made me orgasm from So you done had more bad dick than good dick? Absolutely. Damn. But, you That's know, deep. as a woman, though, it takes more time to come. Like, yeah. you have to put in more time. Own body, in. though. I do feel like that, and um, I feel like women, if, when you explore sex, like even when I have children, I'm gonna tell my daughters to explore themselves before they like go interact with what a man. Yeah, because you need to know what to tell that nigga if anything. You what's know what I mean? Tip, what's the tip that you can give men that they need to that you notice a lot? Like a lot of niggas do, they need to tighten up on the sex tip. Lick the clit only. Just, All yeah. that other extra shit, you don't need to do that. Like licking the labia, licking the lips, unnecessary. Get okay, to that clit. Just give like anatomy real quick. Yeah. Okay, so there, there's a vagina. Up it's the here. whole thing. There is a hood that looks like this, and then there's a little button right up under it. Can y'all zoom in on me? And <laughs> this right here is what you need to be licking. Anything else, you're wasting your motherfucking time. time. And don't like suck, suck, suck because now it's giving you give niggas head. But like lick, lick, lick. Or kissing, even kissing, even like kissing, a, even like kissing a uh, clit, like kiss the clit. Yeah. But don't just give like, like it's giving you give niggas head. What? That, yeah, that, that action is not what we want. Like, it's the lick action. Yeah, no, like, I, I don't mind that on a click. Yeah, but like not 
compulsive. I'm doing like, a little bit of all of it. We need to get the variation. I'm all of it beatboxing. I'm like. Zigzagging ah. up and down, nigga circle, all type so of shit. Yeah. But you, you can't Have y'all ever made a girl come? Have y'all ever made a girl come? Yes, like I've had a girl come. Back. She was coming, coming, not you know, what, what was she doing afterwards? Squirting. Okay. What was her body doing, though? Shaking, uh, uh, st- locking up stiff, okay. not on the move. That's, that's real. That's real life. Shaking, squirting, all that I type of like shit. I feel like he just said that because Wayne said that. I agree. No, I really not. Yeah, <laughs> don't really say this shit. Like, nigga, okay. yeah, we should have asked him before. Oh, 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 hey, legs are gripping your head and shit, all type of shit. Like, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Very accurate. Very they might accurate. know what they're doing. They might know what they're doing. Yeah. We got a. But I'm, I'm a pleaser confirm. though, so I'm. I, I believe that because you a Gemini, you an Air sign. No, who fuck them? For sure. What's your sign again? You a Leo? Leo, lying ass Leo. Leo was in my shirt. Maybe that's why I used to be a liar. Turn me Gemini. Hey, Libras be lying too. If we want to get on Zodiac ass shit, nigga, yeah. Zodiacs be. I mean, Le- I feel like Libras Air signs be lying a little bit, but yeah, who Air do? signs lie. Yeah, I'm an Air sign. He Air sign too. Yeah, they. Come on, now, Are you Wayne? peeping this shit talking about air and shit? Wayne said, yeah, I said, said we never went on a date. I don't know like, what fire signs are. We're not going to go back to Wayne. Because Wayne said we never went yeah, on a date. We let that go so last episode. So we know episode. Wayne is a liar. Okay. okay. So Wayne be lying. <laughs> we offer up no Gemini's. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, next. <laughs> so what's some of y'all double standards? <laughs> double standards that we like? Yeah. Or what's some I love that? the double standard of, like, men is the caretaker is the responsibility. Like, t- yeah, take care of it, daddy. Pay I'm the very bills. Me too. Yeah. Pay the bills. Take out the trash. Like clean my car out. I feel like those double centers. I, like. I don't want to have to touch a gas pump. Yeah, me neither. The, I love those type of double standards. Like, you so know, are you willing to go 50-50 with your man? Absolutely not. That's, I'm not a 50-50 that's a double 50 type standard. of girl. I'm not a 50-50 type of girl. So what percent what? are you? Um, zero 100. Damn, you not giving nothing back to your nigga? I will pay the bills if you need me to help. Like, if you, as a man, like, if you need me to help you, as a man, I will help you. Because you need me to. Yeah, but, okay, just say, boom, we both on an up and up type shit. I'm making probably 60000 a year. You making fifty. That, uh, that's not me. That's okay, not, no. Automatically, that's, I couldn't live that life because that's not me. I'm Shut that down now because that okay. ain't me. Yeah, okay, let's be more realistic to me. Okay, let's say a hundred. Well, give me a good number. Yeah, 100000 is good. You make a hundred, I make one fifty. We But we want to... House let cars. He want to put himself more. No, that's good. I'm saying as a man, it's also easier for me to make more money in a corporate society. As a man, I know what you're saying. I make more than you, but I don't make much. It's not a big gap. Oh, thirty thousand is that? That's a big chunk. That's all. That's some people. You can pop your shit yeah. off a 50 ball. Yeah, you can. but yeah, it's still boom. But say we want, we so happen to be living above our means a little bit and our bills is a little expensive. If, if the bills is 10000 a month, how much are you willing to contribute? Two. Two, to, <laughs> two out of the 10? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be put in a situation where I got to put that much, like $10,000, and that's living No, y'all making the money, though. But but I don't want to spend the top of my income. Like the I'm spend, spending I don't want to spend the top of what I'm what making. What they say you need to make it three times. Yeah, because so you need some room three for, for some extra. If I'm not. fucking with a so chick to where I got to be living <laughs> above my means to impress her, I don't need to be fucking with her. That's but exactly no, what I agree with. I agree with that. We're not living above our means. This is both our goals. This you is just said living above means. our means. I said you did you know, say that. No, if we putting the money together, it's not above our means. But now if it's all on me, then yes, no, I might I be living. No, I can if I'm fucking with her on a serious I level, don't be I feel like I should have the bills you think, a month. So if you got ten thousand worth of bills, how much do you feel like your lady should have? If I feel like I'm fucking with her on a serious level, I need to have a conversation with her. Ten thousand dollars worth of bills is crazy. I That's agree. how I feel. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> I agree. I'm not trying to way. impress you that Who much. Who are we trying to impress? Hold on, wait, wait. And if if she feel like ten thousand, but no, I say y'all in y'all big house and shit, y'all dream. If you feel like ten thousand worth of bills is to impress or like this type of nigga you need to be fucking with, I'm sorry. Let me. Demote myself, and I wish you the best of luck in life, Kitty. Ten thousand dollars is a lot in bills. You have to be realistic. Like, if you're not that type of nigga, like, if you can't afford that, step down. Down. I'm gonna, gonna say that shit fast. Even if I got the money, if that's that yeah, big boy shit, I'm be like, crazy. Ten thousand bills is crazy. I wish you the best of luck, baby. Just, just think about it. And I'm only paying two. Even making hundred thousand dollars, that's one hundred twenty thousand dollars a a a year. That's one of y'all whole salaries a year in bills. That's too much. I'm like, baby girl, you need an NBA nigga. 
And I, I'm going to step back and let you go get him. And I'm going to go find him. <laughs> and, hey, I'm going to get out your way. Easy. I'm going to get out your way fast as hell. Hello? Hold on. It's scary. Don't hey. Houston is real easy. So y'all not splitting no bills. <laughs> no, I would split a bill, but I would only do like 20, 80. I'm never coming like 50, 50 with a guy. Like the max I would come is 30. 30. <laughs> I would okay. do 40, 60. Say, Nick, that's yeah, reasonable. 30. 30. I would do 40, 60. That is reasonable. 4060 is real good. That's you know great. Yeah. If you get that's you a 4060, hold on to it. But, 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 we We're working towards, it. nigga, I don't yeah. have to do this for long. Because Kenya Burger's wife was the breadwinner for a real long time, but now she, he retired his wife. But you know? if you, okay, say if it's a situation where you're not really spending that much, is you putting up saving money while you're not spending, or are you spending that I'm shit? I'm a saver regardless. So okay. regardless of either way, yeah, like, you can't just be out I'm here fucking be your money up. Yeah, I'm not fucking no your money ass up bitch. And, yeah. Okay. Depending on me. Yeah, I'm going to keep my... I'm, at the end of the day, because nah, I feel like, like everything, that's just irresponsible. Men like to be like the dangle the shit over your head. Bitch, you could never dangle me. I'm going to be able to leave at the end of the day. Any, I need to be moment. able to leave at any moment, bitch. Fuck yeah. yeah. Right. I feel like, and that's where a lot of bitches fuck up. Like, when you see them videos on the internet where bitches is like, nigga, get the fuck out. And then as soon as they walk out, they fucking crying because they don't know how to go pay their bills, their car note, or they might not even have a car because you done took that shit because that shit in your name. Like, that'll never be me. Okay. Mm -mm. So, niggas being on As that, you would say, how? that's a low vibrational girl. But yeah, very low by Speaking towards sure. some shit like that, how often do y'all get catfished by a nigga? A nigga beating the soldier a dream and he yeah. ain't living what he really even told you. I feel like if you have enough conversation, you can read that shit out. I agree. Yeah. And I feel like with me, with me, you can't... You Y'all see, I'm, I don't fuck around. So with a guy like... <laughs> I'm not going to be fucking playing with They going to bow out <laughs> gracefully before they let me find out because I'm too, like, here with it. I'm going to find out within the first couple of conversations. So I've had people bow out gracefully like, I'm not where I am financially to fuck with you, so I'm going to just let it ride. And they, I've had a couple guys just let it ride. And I'm cool with that. Like, just be real. Like, baby, you but, was a brokey and I'm not... I can't be dealing with a brokey. But have you had guys trying to live the lie, though? Huh? Have you ever had guys trying to live the lie? Like, really trying to play into their Instagram image and knowing damn well they're not like that? Mm -hmm. I've never had that. i never had that because I'm... So you never been you catfish? Me. So you got good x-ray vision? Not financially catfish, no. I got, it's not even... I got good x-ray vision. It's not even I got good x-ray vision. Like, I'm going to be with you. Like, if we fucking around, I'm going to get to your situation. Like, we going to... Eventually, I'm going to get to your house that you don't have. You live with your mama. I'm going to get there. We going to mm -hmm. hang out. We don't about to be hanging out at my house all the time. Fuck this! Fuck you think this is? But you're not hanging out my house. Let's go to your house. Oh, you, your mama's house it is. I got ops out here. Then you didn't see I got, ops. I got ops out here. I don't want to fuck with a nigga who got ops anyway. Me neither. Ooh, Cause I want to be on the ops. You got ops. <laughs> I don't want to be with nobody who got ops. We had a situation like that. Y'all don't like ops guys. <laughs> I don't want to fuck with nobody who got ops, bitch. Cause as a woman, what the? How deep are your ops to me? To where now they don't give a fuck about you or me. Now we both in danger. Mm mm. Can't fuck with a nigga or a bitch. You don't like a little live on the edge a little bit, a little danger? I can live on the edge. It's not fucking mm -mm. with you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you mean? I'm from Detroit. I've had enough danger in my life, okay? Okay, just fucking with you is me living on the edge. Hello? <laughs> just fucking with you. <laughs> For real. Like, fucking with men in general is living on the edge. Because you, you never lying. know when you're going to get cheated on. And they be lying. And they be lying. You might have Black a wife approach you lie. at the club. I Black fuck with a nigga, y'all. Let me, I just want to tell my truth. Black men don't cheat. Shut Black up. men do cheat. Cut it out. <laughs> it's, that's bananas. I <laughs> fuck with a man, y'all, and this is, and I cannot make this shit up. We fucking with each other heavy, like we deep in. <laughs> my auntie hit me up, because he didn't block me on, he didn't block me on Facebook. Okay. But we on Instagram. My auntie hit me up, I said, girl, his baby shower today. I said, what you mean his baby got shower? got a double life. Bitch, six months pregnant. My homegirl. Is the baby mama? Yeah. Oh. Plot twist. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh. Something like that happened to my best dun, friend though when she came dun. for my birthday. Yeah, my homegirl. A nigga was literally mama. planning a date with her like on Friday. Saturday, his baby shower was all over the internet. Yeah, and that's Why all it was. on the day. His whole baby shower. I'm like, I so asked what? somebody once I find out. He was like, I can't be looking for a stepmother. Yeah. Not at not at newborn I don't fuck with no nigga who not got a newborn stage. Not before the baby was born. How you the fuck? Because you're definitely still fucking your baby mama. There's no if ands or buts about it. No, that ain't always true. I need my own true. baby daddy. Huh? I need my own baby daddy. So you don't want to fuck with a nigga. I feel like even if I did fuck with a nigga, you don't want your baby dad to have other kids. 
Mm-mm. You getting that turned out? Prefer- what if you're a good dad to other kids? Rex, Mac, do y'all got kids? No. See what I'm saying? It's niggas out here with no kids. kids. You have to. You, you have to. Have to. Have to um, what, what's it called? What, what, what lady be doing? She Sell. just got a good ass example. Like, no. it's hella good niggas G-Z. out here with no y'all kids. Y'all got kids. Y'all got kids. Y'all got kids. Y'all got kids. I got, two. I got two. I got one. See what I'm saying? But I'm a good dad. My the son's fuck? 14. Your son's 14. So you probably done fucking your baby mama. What? Yeah. How old's your I kid? had a baby with a stranger. I got a six year old and a two year old. <laughs> you probably left a chance you still fucking your two year old mama. City, let's get on. He had a baby with a stranger. Facts. I did. Let's not skip over What you mean you had a baby with a stranger? <laughs> I did. Remember that he was talking about that three year relationship? This it was your baby mama? No. no. No! No! <laughs> okay, let me tell you how I have a baby with a stranger. We listening. Tell us. Boom. So I'm 16 at the time. <laughs> I'm 16 at the time. Oh, he's 16. You were 16 when you had your 14-year-old? When I, my, when I got somebody pregnant, I was 16. Okay. 16. You were 16 when you had your 14-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking clarify question. Now, <laughs> right. No, but... Thinking I'm grown, thinking I know what I'm doing. You was Fuck having unprotected sex? Having unprotected Nasty. sex with a girl who don't live in Detroit. She visiting in Detroit from For the uh, summer? For the summer, coming to see her family. Boom. Get her pregnant. I know pre- your type. Get I her- know your type. <laughs> <laughs> I get her pregnant. She goes goes home. Where she was from? Mississippi? Or something? Right. 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 What's your name type? Huh? What's his type? A I did not just guess that his baby mama's from the South. Alabama. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are they from Mississippi? Let me get some of that first. Yeah, I didn't uh, find out my baby mama real name until I got to put on child support. Oh, my God. Child support is how you found out her actual name? I know her by TT. What was her actual name? Oh, don't tell her it's her actual name. And that's what he had. A I can tell my baby mama real name. Little TT. Well, I see why they call him TT. Yeah. Type shit. <laughs> yeah. So, guys. So, so kids saying? is a deal. So you ain't taking a nigga serious who got kids. No, I try I to. I personally, I would take a nigga serious if he got kids, depending on the relationship, how many. So, like for me, like I was. So what's the it, stop number? Like, yeah. if it's this many niggas, like for me personally, I got one kid. The most I can handle is two. So you was fucking with that bitch with seven kids for But I never planned on taking her serious. <laughs> Good but time, I said, not but long you time. was just fucking with her just to play around. No. He said her pussy was she immaculate. She know what's going on, and I know what's going on. You know you got but too much But why would you sit up there and lie to, uh, to her in front of me? Like, like, it wasn't that. You just want to take it that way. I apologize. I didn't mean to offend you. Okay, I he wasn't apologized trying to stand on that shit. Damn, that shit's that shit waiting on fuck. When the I fuck did you do that, that though? Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I not next year too. That's what I'm right right fucking waiting on. God damn, nigga. That's all I was waiting on. Yes, now. YouTube community. <laughs> I apologize <laughs> for stunning out Terrica like I didn't remember the date. Period. I was trying to be sweet. I was trying to be sweet. Right. I really appreciate that because the YouTube community needs to know. <laughs> like, you tried to shit on me in front of that bitch with eight kids. <laughs> Damn, she gonna drag me Sorry to the Sorry to that lady. She gonna beat his ass too. <laughs> she, she probably have food stamps. She needs to. I'll buy her Does food stamps. Does she have food stamps I will buy her food stamps, oh, lady. Oh, my God. She got, she will take care of. She Damn, she'll get food stamps together. No, so she is. I can say, like, she, you know, you know a bitch, if a bitch got eight kids, one of Eddie, come on now, you know he ain't playing about her. Yeah. He not playing about her. Yeah, she will take care of. <laughs> I don't know. These Type baby daddies be not shit, but... In, anyway, I feel like if a kid is like under four years old, you don't need to mess with that man. Yeah, for me, he's definitely still fucking with his baby mama. I agree. For me, you have what to be right like right by you like and still fucking his baby seven mama. And up. Seven and Say up. Say that again. What if he's doing right by you, but he's still fucking his baby mama? Why do I want that? He doing better than you I niggas don't have in the no streets. Children, why would I want that? What if he doing better than you than niggas so in the streets? So what's your cutoff number? I'm doing good. I so actually I have to entertain. I'm already doing good. I'm not a survival ass bitch. So whatever you got going on, I'm going to have going on too. Like, I'm not worried I'm about it. doing that. Right. Exactly. Like, if you got some shit going on, I'm not about to be like, oh, if he got this going on, what can I do? Like, no, fuck you. I got my shit going on. I don't need that. Where's your competitive spirit at? Competitive? Yes. My whole thing. 
for me. So like, you don't want to be the winner? This is genuine. We got like, real no kids. Talk. We don't have to compete with shit. Exactly. Like, Just, real talk. Like, I go I don't home gotta every do that, night. nigga. I roll my own weed. I'm smoking I my, my own weed. I'm paying my own bills. I don't need to, like, live a delusional ass life. Like, if I wanted G right now, like, G, you would come home with me tonight. Be real. Like, if I ask you, like, come on now. Facts. Like, I don't need to, like, I don't need to live, like, a fake delusional life to be like, I have a man. Like, I can literally get whatever man I want to. Okay, so, okay. And, and like, he really loved me. Right. Going to that. Def- Why definitely going to be like, I love you, baby. Period. Like, you love, you in love with me. Like, okay. I'm going to put that so shit on you, though. I'm going to put it on you, so do she gonna be going crazy. She confirmation in the email for sure. Because we know. So, real. Do because women love to brag on having good pussy. Do y'all think that's hard to find? Good pussy? Yeah. No, because I don't even know the difference between bad pussy and pussy. I'm not, I'm not so why would chicks try to run with that? Like, oh, I'm, I'm not going to agree with that because I've had sex with women and it's bad pussy out there. What would you give the definition of bad pussy? If it don't water like mine, it ain't right. I don't. I only fuck with watery bitches. I guess because I, I only had threesomes with women. Oh. So the threesomes that I had with women have been watery. So I, I can't relate to like non-watery bitches. I didn't actually get that bitch head though. I just faked it. Oh, I'm a, I'm a head giver. Damn, so y'all ain't giving bitches head. When it comes so to women, I, I will get head huh? from a, to I a woman before I get head to a man. Okay. Pussy that had kids. So which is. I'm Wish not eating no coochie that pushed out kids. Period. What? I'm that's not that. That's pussy. For me, see that's lame behavior. What? That's lame behavior. You're and be- I never you're not gonna draw on the dog here. Call me. No, that's, that's low vibrational. Childish. That's, that's low vibrational. Childish. What's your relationship status in, as of right now? No, I'm single, but single? I will fuck a bitch. I will I'm eat in a bitch. Out way before I would eat a man. What's the situation? I got the nigga, but you know, it's, it's a nigga. I got a nigga, so but you're not date, my nigga. You can date other people. Mm mm. I went, on a day, I went on a date while we've been together, and it, it made us lock in a little bit more. You think that made him do right? I mean, so why you don't treat girl? me like I'm a regular bitch when I'm not. But if you and he made you his girlfriend? I think I'd be a little too patient for niggas. Like, he a Scorpio who got, you know, trust they issues and right boundary now, problems. and Not boundary problems, but like... His guard was very, very up, and he was very communicative. He not rushing it. He was very communicative from the very time we start talking that he wasn't ready for a relationship. So, like, I'm just letting it go where it naturally go. But both of y'all, but both of y'all said I y'all. I think if we can make it to a year without shit, us dude. having any escalation, I'm cutting it off. But both of y'all said y'all be more understanding and more patient when they got good dick or big dick energy type shit. He do shit. got good dick, so. So, yeah, you more understanding. You know he got it. You know he got it. Conf- and you I, got I, I, oh, what she said? So, I'm like, in my head. Got good dick. But even with having good dick energy after a year is still dead no matter. it's still dead in the water how long y'all been talking it's getting it's approaching a year so it's approaching a year i said when but you have a year you so liking that vibe stop. though right so just because he he not willing to be like you're my girlfriend you ready to cut off this good time well you know lately like like i said since i went on that date i went on a date with a nigga because he was saying that it didn't matter if i went on one yeah so i did that okay and you know i've been getting more relationship vibes from him, after from that. him, after that, because at the end of the so day, you don't say like, nothing if you ain't. Re- what they say, business, stand on it. Mm-hmm. So you feel like that made him tighten up, son? Yeah, absolutely. She seen it. That nigga was. What happens if this is for real? Yeah, nigga. So how did he find out you went on the date? I told him to his face. You with the flowers, y'all not with the, to be with the real flowers love. that a nigga gave me in the car. But what if a nigga? What if you meet a dude who really cool with you going on a date? But you still my boo. I don't give a fuck. That's fine. Let's That's, be boo. Well, I would have knew that at that moment when he found out. Let's yeah. talk so about is the situation dead after that? What you mean? If because I, it, because if it's he, okay with it? Yeah. If now I just can't. know how I can move. Okay, you said that. And you, you dead ass serious about that. So now I know that... Not that you're willing to play by me, but I see how you're willing to handle me. Like, what I'm going to still do what I want to do. What if he would return that same energy and you like you called him and he didn't answer and he called back and be like, I was on a date? I never said that out my mouth that you were going to He that. said that. <laughs> <laughs> I never said that. Bitch, what? <laughs> I never told you I was agreeing to that. That was your side of the contract, nigga. Not like, mine, bitch, what? Not mine. I never said so that. So if a nigga tell you that, that what? What? You call him, he, you ain't, he ain't answered, then he call you back, you ain't be like, shit, I was on the date earlier. But if we not locked in, I really can't be mad. Block? Yeah. So you only sticking in a, a, 
How long can your situation ship last? Or you, you a year max? Is it a I time limit? Situation. Yeah, situationships is for me is year max for me. Yeah, with like, this damn, situation. That shit well, is you fun. Know, you know, because you this person tried it out. Like you either want it or you don't. Well, and me yeah. are very and y'all have already said y'all already know. that y'all categorize women and y'all know what y'all want to do with them. So after why you gonna stay? Three hundred and sixty five days. Three hundred and sixty five days. You fucking know if you wanna fuck with me or not. Yeah. I wanna fuck I with do. you. I do. Okay. But I don't wanna commit to you just just no. at this moment. Okay, let's you fuck can't around. be mad when I don't take you as serious I as fuck I with you. Let's not fuck this up. Let's fuck with other people then. That's fine. Let's do that. But let's, let's and well, let's I'm saying, like, let's be open to it. Like, let if we're open to, like, let's be in an open relationship and, like, we fucking around and I fuck with other people, you fuck with other people, that's fine, man. Non traditional monogamy is a thing. Right. Exactly. Like, I let's be like, non traditional traditional monogamy. monogamy. So, like, that's poly, open relationships. Like, if you fuck with somebody. I don't want to put a poly title on in their <laughs> name. <laughs> no, it's just like, don't like with that. Non -traditional. <laughs> I don't like, like it's that not narrative. It's not a relationship. You know what I mean? If, if, if it's okay within your relationship, but it's not traditional woman and man relationship, that is not traditional monogamy. So, like, if you're okay, if you're okay, like, with your bitch doing X, Y, Z, whether it's with a woman, whether no, it's with a man. if you're okay with your bitch doing Wayne and Ken and Joe and... Rebecca. Nah, you ain't about to be doing Wayne and Ken and I'm all uh, fucking <laughs> fucking with you, have you? Okay, no, we like, ain't doing can't that. Fuck, you can't fuck the bros now. Nah. You can't fuck the bros now. Nah. I ain't say some other niggas I don't fucking know. Okay. But not my but fucking okay, niggas I'm with every fucking day now. Nah. Yes. Okay, I'm now just Now you trying to turn the situation serious as fuck. Because some niggas be like, you can only fuck with bitches. Some niggas do be like that. What? Her say it again? That you, you can, can only, only fuck, fuck with bitches. bitches. Have y'all ever met a nigga who, was, who didn't like that you like bitches? Mm -mm. Everybody love that. They like, ooh, you like bitches. Just I don't have girls, but I just might not want to fuck with a bitch with you. They always See, go now to you polygamy. Fucking selfish. You can watch, but I don't want you to join us in this. No, you fucking selfish. But yeah, I, I like watching. Selfish energy. I, I, I personally. Why the fuck you don't want to share with me? Would love to watch a man fuck fuck a girl that I like. Like, fucking. Maybe okay, if man. I initiated. But I feel like a lot of times men be like, let's have a threesome. I got this bitch over here. No, no, no. I don't no, think no, the man got that bitch over here, he already fucked her. Yeah, that's why I never want but the energy. I, but I feel like threesomes go better when the women do initiate it. Like, yeah, because you, that's what you're going to be When, when, when the girl bring the girl, she, it's always going to go smoother, bro. It do. Because when you bring the girl, you fuck the bitch already. It's too many questions in the shit. How long you know this bitch? You like this bitch? You love this bitch? You mostly already fucked her, right? You already fucked her, girl. But I'm going to have to do that too, though. When the guy bring the girl, you already fucked her. Yeah. Facts. And then it's gonna be a moment at some point during the sex where he fucking wanna She's thinking about all her past relationships. No, in the middle, I'm thinking in the middle about of the fucking threesome. No, who had threesomes with men that the guy already fucked the girl, and now you is a third wheel. Not even a third wheel, bitch. The bitch, the, the, home, the bitch the, who his girl is a third wheel. Yeah, the girlfriend. I'm fucking fucking your man. <laughs> And I gave this nigga threesomes before already. Hello. You I had a situation know. where a nigga like actually sought me out because he knew I fucked with the bitch and then he fucked with me and then brought it up like after the fact. That shit was so fucking weird. Hold on, say it again? Yeah, that shit was so weird. Okay, say it so again. I like this nigga came brand new, like I had no idea where he came from. Mm -hmm. Turns out he had already fucked with a bitch that I had fucked with and then tried to initiate a threesome. Like, no. Oh he yeah, y'all fucked around. He basically got sicked on you. Huh? Somebody sent them to you? He did. He sicked himself on me. Okay. Like, he he just she saw... She sicked them. You just didn't know, because she... she. I started looking at all of them sideways because I felt like I was set up. Yeah. I did start looking at everybody sideways, but it was a little lit time, so I just did what I did during that season. Mm. Mm. Damn, you drank two doubts and ended the Red Bull? I gave it all to you. Shot of clock toast. GG. I will say this. Niggas is very... Very manipulative. Oh, manipulative. So if you don't know the What's this? Oh, shots. If you listen, hold on. Let me get my mother. Ooh. Ooh, hold the fuck up. Good. If you don't know the sitch already, just think I'm probably being manipulated. 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 Because men be so manipulate manipulative, they never gonna want to let you know the situation. And like I said, niggas be fucking for like, a place to on, stay. Hold on. Shut up real quick. Shut up real quick. <laughs> Like Look I the said, you're going to get cheated on. Because like they said, they're not even going to tell you that that they know the bitch. They're going to bring the bitch in for a three ball, already have <laughs> fucked the bitch, 
And you're going to be like, who is this bitch? A bitch he already fucked before. And he's currently fucking it. Actually, when you fall asleep, they're going to fuck by themselves. But see, as a woman, you got to know, for a woman, a woman to even agree to a threesome for a nigga, you got to know he done laid this same good-ass dick he done gave you. Because why else would this bitch just be like, yeah, I'm going to give you a... Be cooperative or something like this. You know your nigga. That's common sense. I don't even have to tell you that I fucked her. You just See, did. You, you know just did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, you know, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You and me. Everybody's an ass. Everybody's an ass. Wait, wait, wait. You yeah, just said, you you just said when a nigga got good sex, good dick, a motherfucker be real understanding of a lot of shit. Yeah, so, so when you come into this situation. But the situation with me, I knew for a fact he had good dick. I still wasn't willing to see her get fucked by him. Interesting. I but still was not willing for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not interested. Because she's selfish, that's why. No, I never fucked her thinking that I was going to see her take dick. So, like, you trying to force me to see her take dick, I don't want to see that. <laughs> exactly. Guys be trying to see you take dick, and they don't even know. Like, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, ladies. Terry, what you saying? What I'm saying, listen, let me grab the mic. But I'm Talk s- her mic. Hold on. Actually, look, look at the camera, camera two. I'm on number two. Camera two. Listen, camera ladies. Two. If you fuck a nigga and he be like, let's get this to a threesome, interview this bitch. Because nine times out of ten, this bitch and already fucked your man multiple times. And I'm telling you this because but what is your interview experience. Gonna be? Experience. What is your interview question gonna cons- or investigation gonna consist so, of? How long when, you guys know each other? when was the last time you fucked him? Oh, that's, that's the only oh, question you know. Forward. That's she, cool. all right, first that's question. So when so last time too, you fucked him, bitch? So what's too recent? <laughs> but what not? Or what if he paying for her to come? What's too Ooh. recent? Two Good weeks question. ago. Hold on, what's too Three weeks pain? ago. Y'all paying to play? <laughs> Did she know you was paying? Y'all paying? You, you going to Puerto Rico? You paying to play? Yeah. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Did your girl know you, you paying to play? play? Huh? Wait. wait. Will I pay to play? You pay to play? Yes. You are. You do gonna play to play? Yes, let's let's take this shortcut. I ain't got time to play. I might be this wrong because I think it's media prostitution. Ladies, 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 ladies. Hold on, what you say? Prostitution. A lot of this shit is modern day prostitution. We just make it look good. You gotta fucking know. Okay, so no, when I think pay play, it's like you're leaving money on the dresser. Period. Sometimes. Sometimes. Hot cover. I love money on the dresser. Did money not in my pocket? Because sometimes, sometimes a nigga pay to play like this, like if I. Call you and you got all these fucking sob stories. Oh my God, my car notes due tomorrow. And I'm trying to get my fucking hair done next week. And I've got this going on. I already know. You're really asking me without asking me. The conversation. Yeah. So, wait, wait, wait. so if, I, if I come over to your house and you suck, you suck me dry like I want you to, yes, here go a few hundred without you asking. Fuck it. Exactly. So you don't got to call me or be feeling no type of way. Facts. This nigga came and just left me with a wet old ass. What type of bitch he think I am? Sprinkle, yes, sprinkle. This nigga just trying to come over sprinkle, here and not pay Sprinkle, sprinkle, ladies. Are y'all listening, ladies? Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> sprinkle, <laughs> motherfucking sprinkle. Look at the camera. You already right. motherfucking know he's having difficulty, struggling time. Who? You. How well, am I hold on, say it again. Because you already said. What you say? If she suck you dry, hit, suck a drop, bitch. If, if a bitch suck him dry, dry, he dropping off a couple hundred. Why exactly. wouldn't I leave? Why? Because if I don't, then I'm broke. She or done I'm already petty. left you. She done, she done already left you hella hints. So I think I, so I think I need to if you leave this situation us. without giving her something, you know she about to run to the group chat and everything. This, this nigga, nigga wanna fuck all damn night. This nigga freaky as a motherfucker, exactly. but don't wanna give a bitch nothing. And that's why I said sprinkle, sprinkle, ladies. If y'all know. He's Camera. sucking on that ding. I mean, you were sucking on that ding link. He's I'm giving you that kashin kashin. Wait, no. what? <laughs> he's giving Wait, you what? that kashin kashin. You already know you're getting that coin afterwards. Suck that ding link so the money can already be there. Yeah. Right. You get paid for your performance. Exactly. Don't yeah. sit up there and you don't know what the fuck going on. Suck it. Off rent. You know what the fuck going on. Facts. Yeah. But listen, though. If you don't have that money on the motherfucking table, you said what? bite that dick. Bite it. Bite but that see, dick. But see, no, that's too prostitute. You can't already have the money just on the count. But you no, know when it's time. No, I'm just going to have it ready already. I no, know you, you I know when it's time to hit your hand. It's like, right, like, He me. said, like, say you fuck. And then, like, you give her, like, fuck. Like, I'm the type of nigga. I like her. to leave it in the sky, like. Boom, if I come over your house and we fuck, when you get up and go to the bathroom, I'm going to be already peeled it to the side and just set it somewhere randomly, like, Pierre, my without having to say it. Like, 
Hey, my look. puppy died. He is that scavenger hunt trick. <laughs> <laughs> I love a scavenger hunt trick. Like, hide from me. Put it or in I'm, my pocket yeah, so I'm I can find like, I'm it doing mysteriously. Shit. I'm doing shit like that. Mysteriously. <laughs> no, that's so... I've had niggas who, like, like, I've been hanging out with them, and they didn't, like, to my knowledge, and put that shit in my panties. I go to pee, like, hundreds of dollars falling out. I love that. that, that, that <laughs> I love that a mystery. Damn, mine. I love I, a mystery. I like this. On some funny shit, I like to stick it in a bitch bra. I want to slide it in your shit. For real. That like, is. Good job, baby. No, I'm about to give it to you. What the fuck is it? Even way, no, I'm the type of thing. I'm balling it up like a low key drug dealer. No, then hold on. Then they always say, then like, what's this for? And I say that like I don't know what it's for. Like shit, that's you. I don't know what you want to use it for. Right, you know, earned this. I don't mind paying the place for sure. This is a token of my appreciation. Thank you. Type shit. Type shit. So, and I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna okay, last it. question with that. Do you feel like a nigga, have you ever got an allowance? Or do you feel like a nigga should be compensating you on like a regular basis? If he shit? fucking with you serious. Yes, I, I've been fucking with, a, I fucking with a guy for maybe like a few years. And he was, he had five kids. So it was like, I feel like <laughs> the expectation of that. What you having five kids and I have zero, the expectation of that should be like pay me off rip. Yeah. <laughs> Your price just he went got, up. He got all these responsibilities. How you gonna be? Well, he was kind of a deadbeat to the three, so. <laughs> and I knew that personally. So it's like, if you gotta take care of the You kids, have extra money to give me, nigga. You definitely take care of me. Because I'm also, I'm already looking at you like kind of a deadbeat. And you don't take care of me or the kids. Bombastic. Okay. You need to compensate me for that feeling. I'm going to let she answer. I've got last, one more question add on to what you just what said. What was the question? <laughs> I don't know because I'm going to ask her. I don't know. I want to ask her this other shit. Just answer so the you, other question. You a date a nigga who, because girls be acting like they don't be fucking with niggas who they know dead be. No, I don't. I don't. And that's what's the main reason why I talk to the guy. Because I, and this is just being... Transparent. But if he would have paid, I had a dad, like a father, who wasn't like in my life. You know what I mean? He was a drug addict and got clean. So now he is. And like now that my daddy in my life, like seriously, like I talk to my daddy a lot. My expectations for me has honestly gone higher now. How so? Because my daddy in my life, like bitch, you can't tell me shit. Like if you ain't got it, you don't have. I don't want fucking with you. My daddy gonna pay for it. I done met girls. I done just say your daddy can't fuck with me. Oh, my and daddy, I, my daddy did, can fuck with anybody. And I done did more for you than my your daddy. daddy. Not okay. no. Hold on, even I don't if, like that type of daddy. Even if, even if I, done make, I done fuck with girls, like, I done did more for you than your daddy, so your daddy can't say shit. That's good, Every but nigga I done fucked with did more than my daddy, so. My daddy, my daddy, he stepped his shit up. Like, so, he was I'm a saying, little would you date a nigga who... Would you not having a daddy? I cut the nigga off like after talking to him, to him for four weeks, and he never told me he couldn't hang out with me because he wasn't hanging out with his kids. Cut off. <laughs> All the excuses was other bullshit. I just feel like how four often do y'all see back, our kids? Cause y'all daddies. How often do y'all see our kids? Cause y'all daddies. I live out of town, so I honestly can say I see my kids like one one week out the month. Debbie, what you say? Oh, Damn, why you gotta be a Debbie? No, no, no. What you say? <laughs> Mine's just even less than that, so I'm Ooh, super Debbie dead. Er, Debbie Er. Where your kid lives? Debbie my son er. lives in Alabama. My son always. What never, part? Uh, it's called Demopolis. It's a little ass town. How do y'all feel Is about guys who only though? see their kids less than once a month? Put that in the comments. I find that, I find that with me personally, I when I you have my son, matter? wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, let me get it out. You my know son, how dead these be, bitch. They gotta tell their story. No, because I'm not a dead. They gotta <laughs> tell their story. Tell your story, Wayne. Could you understand? I need to say my piece. I need to say my piece. So let me explain why. Yeah. I'm listening, Wayne. When I had a kid, as a kid. I would, when I first had a kid. That wasn't a good start. No, I'm just saying, I had a kid. I had a kid as a kid, so eventually, I couldn't afford to be running back and forth to Alabama. But you can just, now, so how often do you see him? Once a month, like he said, or no, like the my, he said. No, no my he son, said, I agree. My son. Uh, Let me say my own piece. He goes yeah, My son is in school and shit, so I get him on summer. Uh, like how long he be with you in the summer? He be with me the whole summer. I get him for Thanksgiving, Christmas, breaks and shit. Okay. How did that? Yeah. That was my holiday baby, heart, but he was still a piece yeah. of shit. Okay, no holiday show. heart. But now, show. financially, I take care of him year round. That's how my mama was. Like, my mama had me. Like, she took care of me. She was a financial parent. 
but she had to work a lot. But she also was the parent that had me too. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, but see, she, yeah, so I don't think that's. I think that's still stupid. Am I? Baby you were Debbie. Both of y'all me, are. Let me get to this shit. Let me break my shit down, dear. Yeah. Listen, Come when you're the type of dad here. that I ain't know, if I'm an old playing the game ass daddy at the motherfucking house, ain't doing shit. And yeah, you can say all that shit like that. When you see a nigga that's really motherfucking putting his energy toward changing our situation and we're taking this shit to the next level, you can't say that about me. Especially if I'm financially helping shit. And that week out the that week out the month. You pay child support? No, I do more than child support. Fuck child support. Yeah, I ain't no child so, support. So how much would y'all say y'all give to y'all children monthly? Shit, my son. Hell yeah. Good question. What, More than enough. What type of financial support monthly do y'all give to y'all Because my daddy gave financial support, and from his perspective, he might feel like both of y'all, but I know that it still wasn't enough. Clothes good, sh- uh, shoes good, yeah, motherfucking. My, ain't no, my kid's young, so you have a boy and a girl, or a boy? I got a boy and a girl. Okay. He got a teenager and a two year old. No, I got a six year old. A teenager uh, and a two year old. Yeah. And then see my son old enough to have Apple Pay, so oh I'm you send your money straight to your son. Yeah, I don't gotta even deal with my baby mama at all. Facts. Okay. It's certain sacrifices you gotta got take, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I just paid Y'all me and my like baby mama my just got on the good terms and that's good. I cleared my child support up, all that. We on good pay. Type shit. It took a long time, but we there. My daddy never even How paid. How old is your son? Fourteen. And that's exactly why, ladies, I say for me. If I'm fucking with a dude, the kid has to be like 12 and up because I feel like at 12, that's when the parents, and even like even my friends, like they literally stop fucking their baby daddies at like 14, like when the kid turned 11. Like the kid, I don't got no friends with kids that age, but they all fucking, fucking their baby daddies, daddies still for sure. Like, <laughs> like seven, eight, nine. You think they're not fucking their baby daddies at seven, eight, nine? They're fucking their baby daddies at seven, eight, nine. They're like, oh, Ooh, that's let, so me pick from, let me pick him up from kindergarten. Let me hit the mama. But if a nigga doing everything for you, you still worrying about that? I yes. just won't put myself yes, in that position. Yes, they are. What you and mean? Girl, if I'm fucking with you seriously, you eat, you eat your mom, eating your baby mama pussy. Absolutely, I'm worried about it. <laughs> what are you talking about? You eat my pussy too. And like that, right? nigga. And they're like, but I love you, but you're doing the same thing. You love baby mama I'm giving too. you the deluxe. You really love baby mama more because you gave her a, a kid. whole kid. Y'all feel like that whole way? You said what? No, that, like that don't always. That don't, don't be thinking that. Like, y'all said always don't always. Wait, but if y'all had both been like more responsible at a younger age, then like I was irresponsible. It's fine. Exactly. Shit. So why would I have to be subjected to your irresponsibility? So that, that holds a lot of weight. I want my own baby daddy, so that holds a lot of weight. Like if I if I want my own baby no, daddy, and you sit here fucking your baby mama, that's so unfortunate. But I would never be that. How do you know? I never set myself up for that. How do you know? Niggas change every day. If I'm having fun, I'm having I'm having sex like I'm having fun. And I'm not gonna be in a predicament to be pregnant. A nigga can switch up on you. Yeah. And that's exactly why like abortion is illegal. And if a nigga switch up on until me, until I'm married, I'm not gonna protect the sex. Line, I'm gonna either do, um, hey, hey, um, clinic, or hey, um. No, what if the, the nigga don't change up to the baby's heart here? Hey, I'm what giving this baby, baby up for adoption. Here? The baby will be going up for adoption. I've never been pregnant, so like, I can't have that termination clinic. No, like, ain't no fuck the bullshit. If my baby came out. My mama already agreed to take my party, baby. I'm not doing that. All right, and like that, we're going to wrap up the Check in the Respected <laughs> Podcast. Thanks. Thank y'all for coming as guests. I'm your boy, Northy and Wayne. Seven Mile G. What? It's your girl, Terry B. And Cisa Diddy. Say y'all closing, too. And, and thank you for watching. Tease After Dark. Check in and respect it. <laughs> Y'all love us. Not the AMSAR. Yeah, (laughs) AMSAR.